Art is such a little word and sometimes hard to pin down. It has many definitions, but most commonly art can be inspiring, elusive, educational, and powerful. Artists in all the variety and diversity of forms are many times at the frontier of social, political, and technological change. And that's what I found so fascinating about the new exhibit called Victorian Radicals, from the pre-Raphaelites to the arts and crafts movement, because this exhibit is about the way artists responded to the industrial world in the 19th century. And this theme of the exhibition is how artists essentially tried to make the world better by making beautiful objects, and sometimes tried to show the terrible things that were happening in industrial cities, uh, the poverty, some of these social issues, but then uh, led a way out of it by making beautiful objects. The paintings come from the industrial city in England called Birmingham. Essentially, the artist decided to break all the rules. They were taught a certain thing in art school. You should use dark colors. You should look like old masters. You should look like Rembrandt, something from the past. And they just threw all that out. And they used the brightest, the most fresh, the most vivid colors. Their teachers were horrified to see bright purple, bright green, bright yellow. But if there's yellow out there in the world, these artists used yellow on the canvas, brightest one you could find. The exhibition takes things one step further as they have moved way beyond the usual fine art collections of paintings, sculptures, drawings, and prints. So we have beautiful examples of those flat, essentially flat things. They're amazing. But we wanted to show the materiality of the Victorian world, so we included textiles, we included ceramics, uh, we included uh, some examples of clocks, wonderful little ma tiny machines of great precision, um, and what we wanted to show, metalwork, um, all the different kinds of objects that could be made. And our Victorian radicals were horrified by what they saw coming out of the factories at the time. These artists said, just hang on a minute. You should make things slowly and by hand. Use natural colors, make it beautiful, and turn away from a sort of mass production. So they were radical. In a way, it seems old-fashioned to go back to the past. But of course, if you go back to the past and find what's really special, you can invent a new future. You can design a new future. The exhibition includes the works of such artists as Dante Gabriel Rossetti and John Everett Millay. Now this is a piece called The Blind Girl by Millay. The Oakland City Museum of Art is the first location of the national tour of Victorian radicals. We're thrilled to start the exhibition here. You guys get to see it first. And I have to say, uh, the installation in these galleries is so beautiful that you've set a very high standard for all the others to live up to. And this exhibition produces a rewarding perceptual experience. You'll see carpets, stained glass, and it will certainly make you think about what art is and what it can be. It will make you wonder about those Victorians. So I hope people will come out feeling that the Victorian period, it may be 170 years ago, but actually it feels like today.